Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J. Welcome to my messy garage. I've got to mow my lawn today. Yard day. These are my yard sneakers, my yard shoes. I only wear these when I cut grass. And as you can see, they're pretty weathered. Knee K. Old Red. You ready, Old Red? It's been a couple weeks. Oh. Man, I gotta organize this garage. But before I start mowing with a lawnmower, I always do the edging first. You guys ready? I wish I could make my videos in 3D. Sorry about that. I'm about to start edging, but I just wanted to show you the growth of the grass. It is officially spring. We're starting to get a lot more rain, a lot more heat. The grass is out of control right now. Look at this. I have to get this done today. I wanted to, you know, just go out and start filming like I normally do on a Sunday morning, but I had a late night in Gainesville at the haunted house. And I was like, you know what? I need to get this grass cut because next weekend I'm going to be out of town. I just want to get a head start. I almost forgot, I gotta put my music on. I can't mow without my music. I can't do the yard work. Looks like it's gonna be comeback kid. Usually do something heavy when I mow. Hardcore, buddy. I've gotten all my edging and trimming done. Now it's time to start up the beast. I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace over in St. Pete. I think I paid 50 bucks for it. I had the same model Briggs & Stratton mower before. I got rid of it, nothing fancy, just cuts grass. I have just enough gas, I think. There's a chance I might have to run to the gas station, get some more fuel, almost out. Yeah, first crank. And so it begins. Usually takes me about an hour to do the entire yard. It's not the biggest yard, but ah, it's pretty big actually. It takes me a while, it takes me an hour. That's a lot of time to me. Full-time job, YouTube channel. So all of a sudden, this weird spot right here in my lawn up here, the grass just died. I need some suggestions, some advice. What can I put there to get the grass going again? I know there's all kinds of stuff you can buy, but I don't know what the best thing is to put in there in that spot. Attention lawn guys, I need your help. just finished and as I was bringing the lawnmower back to the garage it ran out of gas I had just enough the well has run dry look at that I'm gonna have to take my tank to the gas station though and refuel 
for next go around. I'd like to introduce you all to someone. This is a gnome named Nor. Zombie gnome. Who remembers that movie? Anthony Michael Hall, a gnome named Norm. That's a deep cut. I don't think that's streaming anywhere. Yeah, this is just a random yard gnome Chris the Girl got for us. I just named him Norm, because of the movie. He watches our lawn, just like these flamingos. Flamingo! Zombie style. And now it's time to blow. I probably should be wearing sunglasses. I actually broke my Ray-Bans the night we went to see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I sat on them, I left them in my seat, and I crushed them. Oh man, I was mad. That was the worst part of that night. I think I'm done buying expensive sunglasses, all because I keep breaking them. We'll see, we'll see. I'll try to be more careful if I do get more Ray-Bans. Empty. So, before I go inside, get a shower, get changed, all that, and head out to what I'm actually gonna do today. I think I'm gonna run to Wawa, fuel up, that way I have gas for next time, which will probably be sometime next week during the week. I won't wanna do that on my way home. I'll have to come all the way to the garage and then go to the gas station. So might as well get it done today. No procrastination, that's what I'm saying. It's a weird gas can, isn't it? Safety, it's a new thing. Should always have been a thing, but a new safety can. Also I noticed that Chris's bird feeder is a little low so I'm gonna fuel it up here. Food for the birdies. This should last about a week. It normally does. Doesn't that look good? Yummy. And as you can see this garage, it's a garage. It will always be a work in progress. As soon as I tidy it up, I say, oh wait, I need to get something. And I come up here, out here and I look for it. I have to go through all these bins. And then I find it, and then it looks like this, and then I tidy it up, and then I do the same thing. And then I tidy it up, and I do the same thing. So, I don't think this is ever gonna be more organized than that. Nope. It's not realistic. And last night on my way back from Gainesville, check this out. I have already hit 10,000 miles in my new Subaru that I bought the first week of January. Three months, that's all it took. As I said in that video, I bought a new car. I like to drive. Drive a lot for my regular job and for YouTube. So, this is the longest I've ever gone without a oil change in any vehicle. I know I'm off to a bad start, but they did say 10,000 miles. I have an appointment scheduled. Actually, I've rescheduled it three times the past couple weeks. Things got busy. So this week I will get my first oil change, hopefully. And welcome to my local Wawa. I'm gonna fill up that gas can in just a second, but right now, she's a thirsty gal. Regular, unleaded 87 for my Subaru. And for my lawnmower, Gonna do some ethanol free. Ethanol free gasoline recommended for small engines because the, the E85, which is actually 87, gunks up the small engines. It's not really good for it, so I always get ethanol free if I can for the lawnmower. Gonna fill it up right there. Let's see how much I pay for my gasoline today. Looks like it's $3.27. Look at this, almost 50 bucks. 14 gallons. I think I have a 15 gallon tank. It's gonna come in handy though. Gotta travel a little bit. Now it's time for the ethanol, which is four dollars and seven cents a gallon. Thankfully, that's only two and a half gallon tanks. It's gonna go very quick, so I gotta be careful. Ooh, almost already there. You can see it right there. Got it. That should be enough. Ooh. Looks like it's five dollars and twenty six cents over fifty bucks for cash. Ladies and gentlemen, it's it's there you are, Bella. All right, Bella. I know, I know. 
you want a treat? You want a snack? Because every time I come home, she's like, she knows what time it is. You got it. All right, guys. So, Chris the girl is not here. She's actually at Walt Disney World. She's filming a video. I think I'm going to head over there and meet up with her. I think she's bouncing around to every park today. Actually, I know she is. She's going to every single park. She has a plan. She's creating a special video. I'm going to head to Magic Kingdom. I made a reservation, and I think by the time I get there, she'll be at Magic Kingdom. I think she said she's going to be there last. Obviously, I'll call her, figure that out, but I'm just kind of putting it out here in the video. Thanks for clicking. Always on my channel. You never know what I'm going to put out there. Today, I'm mowing my lawn and going to Disney World. That's the video. Let's see what happens along the way. You never know. There's much ahead. Of course I'm gonna shower. Someone was like, is he gonna go to Magic Kingdom all dirty? Shout out to 13X Studios. My buddy Rick, who makes these awesome masks, he made a Bucky's one. He gave this to Chris. Thank you, Rick. This is one of my favorite ones. We love Bucky's and we love Friday the 13th. And we went back to Spookalli yesterday, as you saw in the beginning of that video. I didn't share that I picked up this copy of Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Got that for 15 bucks. I didn't have it. This is the only A Nightmare on Elm Street movie that I ever watched in a theater besides the remake. I was very young, but I remember it at the Castle Theater in Newcastle, Indiana. My babysitter took me to see this. I think I remember her name. Her name was Lori. She took me to see this, and I still have the 3D glasses somewhere. Speaking of Newcastle, Indiana, the solar eclipse tomorrow will be passing right over my hometown and birthplace of Newcastle, right over the theater I watched Freddy's Dead. Nice little correlation there. I wish I could go up there. My mom and Hall, my family, they're all going to watch it, and the town is going nuts in a good way. They're going to have a lot of people in town to watch the total eclipse the eye of the eclipse right through my hometown i wish i could make it but i couldn't get off work would have had to get off two days of regular work for my job and it's pretty slammed right now that's why i'm mowing the yard on the weekend like normal folk <laughs> and uh doing other stuff because uh just had a lot of visitors in town this weekend which was awesome spring break time that normally happens this time of year and things got out of hand and that's why I'm mowing the yard on the weekend. I know, right? First world problems. Hey, welcome to Target. On my way to Walt Disney World, but I have to make an emergency stop because I ran out, fresh out, of this stuff right here. Deodorant. And that was super quick. Got it. Now I don't stink. Well, I'll put it on and then I won't stink. And uh, so, I've gotta go back home. You know why? I forgot to take this out of my car and place it in the garage. There's no way I'm driving all the way to Orlando with a can of gasoline in my open car. That's dangerous. I know it's a safety can. I could risk it, but I'm not too far from home. I gotta take that back. A little delay. Put you back where you belong. And I just put you on, now I'll put you back where you belong. Welcome. Also, before I head to Walt Disney World, or try to again, better set the trash out. Tomorrow's trash day. There we go, all ready. And now about 35, 40 minutes from Walt Disney World, I am stopping at this Krispy Kreme donut for coffee, but also it looks like they sell a total eclipse donut. So I'm gonna grab one of those. The eclipse is tomorrow. Check this out. It's almost my turn. Total eclipse donut. You can barely see it there in the shadows. That makes me think, maybe I should uh, say hello to a friend when I get to Magic Kingdom. Maybe stop by Starlight 
Ray's Cafe. No cream or sugar. Yeah, thank you. And also, can I get one of your uh, Eclipse donuts? This one? Yeah, just one will be fine. Anything else to order? Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here's the Eclipse Donut. It's got an Oreo on top. That is clever. Oh my gosh. This looks delicious. I only got one. One will do it. I haven't eaten much today. This will hold me over until I get to Walt Disney World. Chris, the girl, is over there. I think she's on her three, third or fourth Walt Disney World Park today, so she's making good time. Looks like I have about, yeah, 37 miles from this point, 40 minutes to Walt Disney World. I'm gonna try this first though. Of course I'm gonna eat this first. <laughs> Here it is, my tasting of the Eclipse Donut. This was unplanned. I came here to get coffee. I didn't know this was a thing. Oh my gosh, we're good. The cream, the Eclipse is coming through. Take a bite of the Oreo. Oh yeah, that's good. It can't be Krispy Kreme donut. Hot and ready. There's a conveyor belt in there. I saw it as I was going through the drive-thru. They make them fresh right here. Wow. That's great. I wish I could be up there and see the Eclipse. The eye will pass right over Newcastle, Indiana. Also, Knightstown, Indiana. A place I, I used to play basketball in. My dad used to work there. Like, directly over Knightstown, Indiana. If you know where Knightstown, Indiana is, and if you know anything about it, that's where they filmed the movie Hoosiers. Great basketball movie from the 80s, Gene Hackman. Played in that gym many of times. We've been there before on the channel. The Eclipse will pass right over the Hoosiers gym. Not this one though. This is only available at Krispy Kreme. Come get it. There's my coffee to wash that donut down. Black as the Eclipse. Ha 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 ha. Been doing no cream in my coffee for the past couple of months. And I tell you what, I, I'm really enjoying it. Surprisingly, I love the taste of coffee. Why add cream? Don't need it. And the Rays are currently leading the Rockies out in Colorado, three to nothing. Tenth game of the season. We are at the bottom of the AL East. Hopefully it picks up. The most magical place on earth. Welcome back to Disney World. Orange. Pitches up and in, and then Palacios put on the brakes. Green. Monorail. Catching it as I'm entering the main gates of the TTC. Tyler Kidd is warming in the bullpen for Colorado. I haven't caught it right here. It's one of the guys who struggled yesterday. Two out, three two. It's the already ball to third. A rocket snared on a hot five big ball. The sets of rules of Pittsburgh on the air. Here they are. Magic Kingdom at 5.20 in the evening on this Sunday. Chris the girl is making her way to Magic Kingdom as well. I'm about to see my fiance. Already parked. They parked me on the left side of the parking lot, which would be the west side. I'm going to go through the Polynesian, jump on the resort monorail, to head to the park. That's my favorite thing to do. Also, if you park on the left side, the aluminum bridge that takes you to the Polynesian is a huge shortcut. This is the aluminum bridge. This is how I go to Magic Kingdom. I prefer. If I park on the east side of the TTC, I just take the boat or the monorail, just like everyone else. But if I park on this side, it's through the poly. I love the poly. I love seeing it. So you go to the second floor of the Poly and you begin the resort monorail of Magic Kingdom. It's about a 10 minute walk from here. Freaky tiki, freaky tiki. Right here inside of the Polynesian Resort gift shop, they actually sell my sunglasses, the Rayman Justins. I have an annual pass so I get a little discount. I think these are going for 158 so. If I do decide to buy my sunglasses, maybe I should get them here. 
Maybe. Oh, wait. These are the Wayfarers. Hold on. There's the Justins. Yeah. You will be mine. You will be mine. This will be like my fourth pair I bought. I don't know. Maybe I should just go with cheap glasses like I originally said. And I just barely missed monorail green. Darn it. Oh, well. I'll catch the next one. I had to use the restroom and I was checking out those glasses. It will be gold. I like gold. And we have arrived at the Magic Kingdom. Together. Together. Did you just get here? Uh, I've been waiting here a little bit for you, actually. I yeah. missed two monorails. Yeah. And then the gold one stopped at Grand Floridian for like 10 minutes for some reason. Yeah. But almost. Almost. How's yeah. your video going? It's going good. It's going good. How about you? This is the last park of the day, right? You've done all yep, three? Yeah, this is the last one. Uh, yeah. My video's all right. Yeah, a lot it's of, been a day. A lot of weird things going on. Yeah. But uh, it's just one of those videos. Yeah. I'm enjoying the day, though. Good. And now I'm... Even better, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah, let's have fun. And look at this, coming down the left center of Main Street USA, the Double Decker Bus. I haven't seen it here in a while. Yeah, right? First time I've seen that in a long time. That shows you that the park is not that busy. We're at the tail end of spring break. Main Street Transportation Company. Have you ever ridden the Double Decker? Well, actually, I have no idea. I've never, I've never ridden the double decker, just the, you know, the single decker. Yeah. And when I was getting that donut earlier, that Eclipse donut, I said, "Hey, I'm going to Magic Kingdom. Why not say hello to Starlight Cafes, Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafes, House Entertainer, Sunny Eclipse." Hey, it's Eclipse Day. Got to say hello to Sunny, Sunny Eclipse. And also, I got another coffee. This is like my third one of the day. Bubbles, oh, bubbles. Here he is. Sunny Eclipse. It was down to its last quarter. Did you know he plays eight songs? Eight different songs. It's big and round and blue and green. Just like my mother in law. If I may be serious here for a moment, I've seen a lot of planets. But I gotta tell you, Earth from out in space. It's one of the loveliest sights I've ever seen. So Sonny is a, a Zorky. He's from the planet Zork. He's been going here for a long time. Been playing a show for all these guests. Out in space, Earth looks so small. This is so classic. <laughs> Happy Eclipse Day, Sonny. Watching the solar eclipse at Sunny Eclipse. <laughs> We're here a day too early. Did you know Sunny Eclipse is from the planet U Nork? Like New York? Yeah. But it's okay. U North. That's good. That's good. I looked that up online. Thank you, Disney Wiki. Oh, yeah. Sing it, Sunny. Sunny Eclipse, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Yeah! Sunny Eclipse on a loop. Eight songs. I wonder how many times a day he goes through those eight songs. The park is open till 11 tonight, so he's going to be playing for quite a while. Stop in and see him. He's singing about his space angels playing his astro organ. Invisibly absurd as they save my act. This is what I heard. We love you all the time. You can I miss just you all. A fool in love with you. It's close enough. We know where we got the song. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sonny, we got to get going, but have a good night and an awesome eclipse. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy the show. And I'm just tagging along with Chris. She's making a video. She's going to film a lot of stuff in here. I'm just kind of hanging out, having a good time. Look at the way 
the sun's hitting the castle right now, Cinderella's castle here on the backside. Always love seeing the Jack and the Beanstalk, Beanstalk at Sir Mickey's. That's cool. Fee fi fo fob. I smell the blood of an Englishman. And here we are at the Frontierland Shooting Arcade. We just got news earlier this week, or last week, that this will be going away and becoming a Walt Disney World Disney Vacation Club Lounge. The Shooting Gallery. Its days are numbered. Let's take a look at it. Classic. Too much fun. You know what should be here instead of this really cool, classic, awesome thing? What? A lounge. No. That would improve this area so much. Alright. I can do this all night. I'm gonna do it until they take it away. Why is this so much fun? Doing it one-handed. All right, I'll be back. I'll have to do this before they take it out. Dr. Tom. Here we are in the enchanted tiki room. We're about to be, this is the free show. This looks so much better at night. Is everybody ready? I'm ready. The door's open. It's time. Why is this senorita? Thoroughly enjoyed the tiki room. We're just gonna keep on going down the river. Jungle Cruise Expedition. 20 minute wait. Let's jump on the boat. Yeah. First time riding this together. Really? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, I'm glad we're doing this. Yeah, and your first time riding it at night, right? First time at night. I rode, the first time I rode this was during my first visit. 1993. I think the, I think the fireworks are starting up yeah. or something. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Okay, so welcome to the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Skipper Brecken, and if Woo! you don't have a good time today, you will be breaking my heart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are now going down the Amazon River. Have you guys seen the movie Don't Look? Yeah. Well, if you haven't, it's right time. 
plastic snake in a tree. <laughs> Look at that. That was my favorite experience ever on the Jungle Cruise. Cool at night, right? Yeah, it's she so did much. A great job. Yeah, she's she great. Hilarious. So yeah. hilarious. What a day. It started out with mowing the lawn. And you just and you just finished your video. Yeah. I'm gonna finish mine. I think. Yeah, we'll finish it. On second thought, let's ride Pirates of the Caribbean before we end it. But you can go ahead and Give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Oddcar. Welcome to the Castillo del Morte. This is gonna be a walk on. Ho, ho, ho. Yo, ho, ho, ho. A pirate's life for us. No one currently on those boats. At least four boats in front of us, no people. There's a few people behind us, but we're, we're the first to go in a little bit. Dead man tail, no tail. Watch out for the crab. Man tail, no tails. 
man, he got stuck in the back. I wonder who he made that. Don't be cheating. tomorrow yep. <laughs> it's after nine what are we doing i don't know we love disney we do and we're very lucky to be able to do this sort of thing that's right thanks for 
living vicariously and joining us, guys. I think I'm going to end it right here. Okay. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are or what you're going through, just know there's always much ahead. And please subscribe to Chris the Girl and check out her video. Thank you. A link always in the description below. And as for this video, I'm going to end it right here before the Enchanted Tiki Room. See you guys. Bye-bye. It's a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. Okay, I'll do it for you. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Consider this the eclipse. Oh, look at that. Inside the Crystal Palace. Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore 2. That's magical.